we're not only moving to a new state, moving our entire like house, our dog, everything, we also are gonna be closing my business. <sighs> the moving chaos starts now. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Okie says hi. If you guys are new here, hello, my name is Maddie, welcome. I make weekly vlogs every single week and we upload every Monday, so you guys should definitely stick around to the behind the scenes of my life. We have some fitness, we have some lifestyle, we have some nutrition, we have some wellness. We have a little bit of everything over here, so it's a good time. If you guys are not new here, welcome back besties. As you guys can tell by the title of this video, this weekly vlog is consisting of getting ready for our move. We move in three weeks, I think a little bit less than three weeks now. Um, we're actually like literally on the road to our new home January 2nd, hopefully gonna be moving in like January 3rd. So we're, we're down to that time, guys. It's kind of crazy to think about. We've been packing. I have like some vacuum seal bags that I'm putting clothes in. We have some boxes. I'm gonna show you guys all the stuff that we've been doing, but Trying to get packing done somewhat early and not have to worry about it also last minute it's really gonna help with my mental sanity at least, especially because we're not only moving to a new state, moving our entire like house, our dog, everything, we also are gonna be closing my business. Yeah, we're closing Maddie Dealer Fit, but we're gonna be reopening up as a new business. So I'm still gonna be doing my same thing, still running my business. It's just two new beginnings, which I'm very, very much excited about. I knew Maddie Dealer Fit was not going to be like the thing that I wanted forever. I knew that eventually, like my vision was so big that I was going to need a team to do this and I was going to need the help of other people besides just myself. And it started off as just me and that's why it was Maddie Dealer Fit and now it's turned into an entire team of people. So we're going to be opening up a new business, I guess, branding is what you can call it um, so I'm dealing with all of that stuff all the legal stuff with that while I'm also dealing with the move um, and it's the new year it's the holidays I'm trying to enjoy Christmas so it's been a little bit chaotic but I'm very excited to have you guys along this ride with us today is Monday December 11th um, uh, it's about noon right now I had meetings with my team this morning I went to the gym had to go to my mom's house because my couch got delivered today I ordered a couch from Costco for our new home and now I need to try to figure out how I'm gonna sell this couch that we currently have because this couch is too small and we don't want to take it with us so we bought a new one so I went and like checked out that couch getting delivered and then I also had to grab some products to bring over to ship because I have a couple orders to package out um, and get rid of. I'm trying to get rid of all my Maddie Dittler Fit product before we move because one, we're rebranding and we're not gonna be Maddie Dittler Fit anymore and two, I can't take all of it with me so I need to be selling it and donating it. I've been donating to some college campuses around me and just giving to different like weightlifting clubs, um, Girl Gains to be specific. I've spoke a couple times at Girl Gains um, on SDSU and UC Davis. So I'm donating right now to a couple different um, campuses around. Also donated some hoodies and stuff to a local women's shelter, which was super, super close to my heart, which I'm very happy I got to do. Um, so yeah, so that is kind of like the stuff going on right now. I'm gonna go make some food because your girl has not eaten, which it's literally noon and I haven't eaten. We love that. I'm gonna make some food. I have a little bit of work to do and then I need to, like I said, package, go to the post office. Um, I ordered some Ziploc, not Ziploc, the vacuum safe bags, vacuum seal bags from Amazon. I already used eight to package my clothes, but I still have more clothes to put away and some of Eli's clothes. So I ordered another thing of those from Amazon. They'll be here tomorrow. So hopefully I can get doing that. Hopefully gonna put some things in boxes. I'm honestly trying to go through my outdoor closet and decide what do I actually wanna keep and like take with us and what decor is just like not really my thing anymore. What do I kinda wanna get rid of? So yeah, we're gonna do that. Let's go make some food and go get to work. I picked up these chorizo chicken sausages. I have not tried these. Um, I'm honestly not a sausage person, but I've really been needing more protein in my diet. So I decided why not try this? I love chorizo. So I was like, why not try the sausage version of it? Chorizo is sausage, isn't it? Don't ask me. I'm not, I'm not a meat expert, but we're gonna try these sauce, these chicken sausages at least. Um, see how they are and then I'm also gonna make three eggs. Eggs have just been like an easy go-to with easy protein and super easy breakfast. I know it's noon and I'm just now eating breakfast. I'm aware, but I need to catch up on food for the day. So one sausage link and some eggs coming right up. Oh no, my weenie. Breakfast, aka lunch, breakfast, brunch fist, I don't know, is served. 
sausage, eggs, some ketchup. I'm gonna eat this up and then uh, my camera needs to charge. This thing's literally gonna die. I haven't charged it in like a week and a half. So I'm gonna charge my camera and then I'm gonna eat, do some work and then I'll check in with you guys after. I looked at the clock and I realized it's literally three o'clock. <laughs> that means I've been on my computer for the last three hours working. I ate, I have not eaten since, but I think I'm gonna make a smoothie right now. Do you wanna say hi? Anyway, Eli just got home from work not too long ago. He headed to the gym. I have a call at 3.30 with like a little like business call that I have. And then um, I have another call later on this evening with a lawyer to go over some business stuff at like five, six o'clock. So a couple more phone calls to end off the day. I had another phone call with my financial advisor to go over some business stuff. Just lots of business calls today. Like I said, we are just transitioning stuff and like lots of things going on. I'm gonna finish up some packaging stuff. I have to finish all of my dresses that are in this closet put them in the vacuum seal bags and then that is it pretty much for my vacuum seal bags for clothes probably gonna do some decor and stuff later on this evening too because i really need to pack up decor and stuff my office is actually a mess like our gym bags i'm gonna be doing like a 12 days of giveaway on tiktok so those are the clothes i'm gonna be doing um donating i don't know this is what living with your boyfriend looks like he clearly has not put any of his shit away but i can't blame him because i have my shit sitting right here so that is the state of our apartment right now I've been obsessed with simmer pots lately. This is actually one that I did last night, but I decided to just like pop it on the stove again. Basically, I just put some water. I did cranberries. I should have of cranberries if you can't tell. Some sliced apples, and then I also have some sliced oranges in there, and then I also have some, what is that stuff called? Rosemary? I have some rosemary, and then I have cinnamon sticks, which is why all of the apples look brown, because I have cinnamon sticks in there. But I boil it on the stove, and oh my gosh, and I just let it simmer, and it smells so good. It smells like Christmas in a pot, which I love. And then I have my Christmas candles going right now, too, which is a vibe. I'm gonna make my protein shake right now. I'm gonna be using my vanilla whey from Beam. I went to go order some more of this, and I didn't see it on their website, so I don't know if they're just like restocking it or what it is, but this is my favorite protein from them. I love this specific one. It's the vanilla milkshake. It is, or vanilla soft serve. Tastes just like a vanilla ice cream. It mixes so well with anything. Like I said, it's my absolute favorite. I also have the vegan one, but I prefer the texture of the whey better than the vegan one and weighs pretty good on my stomach anyway. Code Maddie if you guys wanna save some money on some supplements at Beam. I realized I also didn't have my creatine today, so we're gonna throw that in the smoothie. Trying to film a full day of eating at the same time. It's a little bit of work, okay? I use chocolate fair life protein because it's easy and it's on the go. And this whole thing has like 60 grams of protein whenever I mix it all together. Oh yeah, I needed that. mission is to tackle the last bit of clothes that I have which are just my dresses I'm gonna go through this and decide like what I want to keep what I want to like get rid of and then we're gonna put all of this in the last vacuum seal bag Update, these are all of my clothes. Literally my entire wardrobe is packed in nine bags. We love that. Actually, no, eight bags. Yeah, eight bags, right? One, two, three, four. Yep, eight bags. We did it all in eight bags, y'all. Cool. So this is the state of my closet currently. We honestly don't have much in here. I just have like leggings, gym shorts, a couple gym tees, 
um, some hoodies and then some sweaters and stuff just to wear for the next three weeks. I'm going to pack shoes, I think, right now. That's going to be like my next thing. And then I'm going to start on the decor and everything that is in here, out here. And then that's also packed in our other outdoor closet. Good morning, guys. It's the next day. I literally packed up the entire house last night. Let me show you guys what I did because I was on a roll. My house is basically empty. Um, yeah, all the decor is gone. The only decor that I left up was the Christmas tree because we're going to take those down literally right before we leave. But all the decor, wall decor, everything is like down, guys. Like it's really empty. Hey, smokes. Um, all of our boxes are out in our outdoor closet, the ones that we can fit at least, and then we'll just put the other ones right here. But yeah, I mean, I'm going to try to do some more today, but this is like crazy to see how empty this is. Look at the closet. I just have pillows because I'm going to vacuum seal pillows and stuff, but... Yeah, this is insane. I need to clean this, but like empty. Everything, just the bed and the dressers, empty. I put in some serious work last night, as you guys can tell. So, all I'm really gonna have to do today is go get some more boxes. We do need a few more boxes and probably don't get those. I just bought the vacuum seal bags. So Eli can vacuum seal all of his clothes and stuff today. I'm also gonna vacuum seal comforters, pillows, all of that fun stuff because we don't need it. Um, to be taking up space and then probably like the last things we're gonna pack are gonna be kitchen supplies and stuff um, I'm thinking next week next week is Christmas so, like next week and then literally right after Christmas we're moving so Insane to think that everything's going so fast I don't know what it is, but I've been addicted to sugar-free Red Bull. I haven't drank energy drinks in years like probably since I was like 19 20 years old i'm now 24 i have not drinking drinking i have not drank energy drinks in so long but i've really been on this like sugar-free red bull kick so i don't know i've just been like obsessed with these lately i don't drink coffee either i just drink decaf coffee um because regular coffee does not do me too well but um there's only 80 milligrams of caffeine so i think that's why i like it i went through a caffeine cleanse for a little while where i did not drink any caffeine for like a solid eight months straight I went to decaf coffee and then I had no caffeine. Well, I started off with only limiting myself to one Nespresso pot a day, so like one cup of coffee a day. And then I was able to go down to no caffeine at all and I did that for like six to eight months. And then now I'm slowly implementing caffeine again, but I'm only doing small increments. So like 80 milligrams is probably like all I can really handle. So I do decaf coffee in the mornings and then, well, whenever I feel like having my decaf coffee, morning, afternoon, doesn't matter, there's no caffeine in it. And this is my only source of caffeine lately, so we're just kind of experimenting again, you know? Anyway, I'm gonna head to the gym, and I probably am not gonna take you guys through the workout because I need to, like, hurry up and get this done. And then I have to go drop something off to Eli's sister, and then I have to go drop some packages off at the post office. I just got down at the gym, and I got to Eli's parents' house. I'm dropping this little fanny pack off to his sister. Um, it's from Hydro Drug. They sent it to me in a PR package, and she, like, loves pink. She has, like, her entire car is, like, pink. Her like bedroom is pink and she like loves just like very like vintage juicy couture. That's like her style. If I had to describe her style, I would literally like decide, I would say like 2000s pinks and purples. So when I got this in PR, I was like, I'm never gonna use this. I literally have to give it to her. So that's what I'm doing. Um, and then I'm gonna go to the dollar store and then to the post office as well. But I was leaving the gym right now and I just discovered a new ick. I actually posted it on TikTok, but I wanted to let you guys know in on the ick. Um, honestly, anything guys do literally gives me the ick because I have a boyfriend. But this ick specifically, I was like, oh no, if my boyfriend like did this major ick. Um, I saw a guy leave the gym on an electric scooter and something about the way that he was like standing on that scooter, like with his like feet crammed sideways, like, and he was just a tall like guy. He just looked really off on that scooter and it just like gave me the ick. So new ick is discovered men, grown men on electric scooters. And especially if Eli was on an electric scooter, I'd be like, no dude, like we're not doing that. Post office stuff is all done. We have those packages out. I think that's all on my list. I'm gonna head home and we're gonna make some food because your girl is starving. Okay, I lied, I actually have one more stop. Um, we're here right now. I don't know if you can see. 
Home Depot. I need to get more boxes because I used pretty much almost all of our boxes for moving and we need jumbo boxes. I didn't know the large boxes are not actually large. They're pretty freaking small. So I need to get some extra large boxes, some more large, some more medium, and just overall some more boxes to pack up stuff because we don't have enough. I got a PR package, which is like an old London like telephone box. I honestly have no idea what's in here. It's from Elemis. Uh, sometimes I wonder how brands get my information. Oh, owie. Well, then. Having a hard time opening it. Don't cut you know how I am opening stuff. <laughs> Let me see. Maybe it's not. We're supposed to, I think we're supposed to open it from this. We are supposed to open it. Never mind. I was opening it the wrong way. See, it's tucked. You're supposed to open it from... Slides? Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Smarter than me. That makes sense. I got new calories. Okay, cool. Wait, hold on. You got new calories? Yeah. Higher or lower? Lower. Eh, that sucks. <laughs> How much lower? 400 lower. <laughs> What did he say? He was like, dude, we gained way too much in a one week's time. <laughs> I was telling him though, like, I was telling him though, how, like, I was in a big ass deficit, so. Ooh! It? It's a skincare brand. We have facial oh, oil. What is a little facial towel? Cute! What else? Collagen cream. Facial pads and a cleansing balm. Wow, shout out to Elemis. This is a really cute PR box, but I don't understand what the cool telephone thing has to do with it. It's London calling is what it says. My next mission is to get everything out of that cabinet over there and put all of this stuff into bags um we have just like comforters and sheets and stuff and just towels that we don't use and pillowcases that can go into that ziploc vacuum seal bag over there and then i think after that i do have a, two calls in between but i think i'm gonna put all of my like makeup and stuff that like i don't ever use like all my ex extras and all that stuff um and put all of that into boxes as well that way i can get all of this pretty much cleared out today A little update this is what we have spent the last couple of hours doing we have all of our what is all this all of our like bath stuff like our blankets comforters towels all of that stuff I have all of my stuff from the entire bathroom packed away Eli did all I have to say is all this clothes she has eight nine bags worth of clothes and only have four. <laughs> she tries to tell me I have too many clothes. <laughs> Sorry. She has more clothes than me. I think the really only thing left is a few couple things, babe. Like, we've done, like, holy shit, you did a lot of it. Literally all of it. My appearance is not too good right now, but we're going to make some dinner here in a minute and then probably go to bed because... I just feel like the last couple days full of packing has been so chaotic. I'm breaking out like crazy because I don't know. Stress maybe? Good morning. It is about 8.30, 9 a.m. And I'm headed to Dutch Bros to get a coffee. I'm starting off this vlog in the car with um, my girly pop back here. We're going to get a coffee. Wednesdays I normally go to a coffee shop and work, and so it's like my like treat myself to a coffee day. But with everything I have to do, I have to go to my mom's later and like do some packaging, take some more stuff over there, donate some clothes. With the move, I just don't have time to go to a coffee shop this week, and I honestly don't have a ton of work to do. I'm pretty low key because shout out to my team for taking over so much stuff for me the next couple weeks. Um, so oh my god, it's freaking cold. I need the heater. I can't do that. Anyway. 
We are gonna head to Dutch Bros. I have a free drink today. We're gonna go get me a candy cane cold brew. And then I'm gonna come back. I'm doing a Facebook Live talking all about high protein, tips and tricks and everything. We go live in our Facebook group every single Wednesday. So if you guys have not joined our Facebook group, I'll put the link in the description below. Tune in. We do free lives every single Wednesday and just go over different informational things for you guys. So I'm going over that today in our Facebook group and then I'm gonna eat breakfast. I'm going to probably head to my mom's house and then I ordered more storage bags. I know because I need to get all of our pillows and everything. And I didn't have enough storage bags because I used half of them last night, as you guys saw, and then Eli used the other half. So we ordered more, but these storage bags are like lifesavers. So I don't know, I'm, I'm saving them and I'm gonna use them for future moves. And I'm also gonna use them at our new place under the bed to store stuff that we're not using. So that's a hack, but let's head to Dutch Bros and get your girl a little coffee. How are we doing? Good, how are you? Alright, you are rocking the candy cane and then this right here. Yep. Perfect. Awesome. Is you a straw? Um, no, thank you. Do you want a sticker? Yeah, why not? Sticker we'll take one. Thank you. you. Yeah. That's cute. Alright, here's the. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, you you too. I honestly don't know how much sugar is in that, but. I only get coffee once a week. Like I only treat myself to coffee once a week. And when I'm gonna treat myself to coffee, I'm gonna get something that may not be macro friendly because I'm treating myself to coffee, you know? Girl math. If I make it at home, it's gonna be more macro friendly because I can control it. If I buy it, it's not gonna be macro friendly because I only treat myself once a week. Can I get a shake? Yes, other paw. Oh, that was kind of half. I just got home. I think the last time I vlogged was when I was getting ready to go to my mom's house, which was at noon. Um, yeah, I completely forgot to pick up my camera. We ended up going and getting lunch together. We went out to Target to return something for her, and then I packaged some orders and just did all of that stuff, dropped, dropped stuff off at Goodwill, but I completely forgot to vlog, and then we had dinner at Eli's parents. And I just am now getting home. Um, I did wrap the Christmas present, so I will show you guys what that looks like. But um, yeah, today's just been crazy. I, I feel like I very, barely have even vlogged at all. Um, and that's kind of how this entire vlog has been. I'm not, not the best vlogger, but we're working on it. Tomorrow is Thursday. I What am I doing tomorrow? I have to go to the gym tomorrow, so maybe I will record my workout for you guys, bring you guys with me. And then Friday, I have dinner with the girlies, so I will bring you guys with that. That'll be fun. But um, I'll show you guys the Christmas presents before I close out for the night and bring you guys along with me tomorrow. So all the Christmas presents are wrapped, well, in bags. I'm too lazy to wrap them, but all of these are my mom's and my grandparents parents and then I have a couple more to wrap as well and then I'll show you guys something that I just got Eli today also this light from Amazon the Alex Earl light I've had this for like six months now best thing I ever bought I literally use this thing 20 million times a day had this veggie chopper come in today I ordered this for my grandparents for a little Christmas gift because they're always cooking so I thought this would be a really nice gift for them and then um, of course, had to get some more bags from Dollar Tree because I ran out. And then I saw this at Target today and I was like, I have to get this for him. It is a 15 days of socks and it's Harry Potter themed. And if you guys don't know, Harry Potter is Eli's absolute favorite. So I got him a little 15 days of socks box from Target. Good morning and happy Thursday. I was gonna say Friday, but it's clearly not Friday yet. Um, we're kicking off the vlog at the gym, y'all. I'm probably gonna vlog my workout with my phone because I need to film some form videos for my coaches. And I'm just gonna record my workout. I'm doing a leg day. Um, skin is still not skinning, little skin update. Um, I definitely think it's stress induced, but <laughs> cute. I am going to go in and get my workout in and then I have to go drop off some more packages at the post office and then I only have one call today so I'm going to spend today packing which I'm most likely not going to vlog because I've already vlogged the first like half of this vlog has been me packing so I'm going to do that. I'm going to pack tonight. We watched Twilight last night. I forgot how much I love the movie Twilight so we're going to watch New Moon tonight. We're like on like a little Twilight kick but um, we are going to probably just chill, pack tonight and then tomorrow on Friday I do have a dinner with my girlfriends, so I'm gonna bring my camera and vlog that. So most likely today's little clippy clips will just be 
me going into the gym and doing my workouts and stuff. But with that being said, I'll see you guys in the gym. But lately I have been like getting up and like making my bed doing skincare like getting ready for the day and then like first thing Going to the gym in the morning um, eating like a little something drinking a Red Bull going to the gym So I haven't really been like sitting on the couch and enjoying coffee in the morning So I have about 30 minutes until I have to hop onto a call I'm gonna like listen into the call in my headphones, but I'm brewing coffee right now And I think I'm going to drink my decaf coffee while I do the last of our vacuum seal bags, at least I hope it's the last of the vacuum seal bags because I just have to do pillows and stuff in there. I think I'm going to do that and then, yeah, I'm going to hop on my call, drink some decaf coffee and then probably just work and chill the rest of the day and then we're going to watch Twilight, of course, tonight to end the evening. Good morning. Happy Friday. I don't know why my hair looks like this. I slept on it last night. I did heatless curls, but uh, the bonnet. they just didn't really turn out that good. They're a little... A little frizzy so hopefully they calm down later today at the gym we are gonna head in get a workout in it's about nine o'clock right now I have cardio my everybody workout to do today and then I told you guys I'm going to dinner with my friends tonight so I have to go home have some calls um, I have a sales call today and then two calls with my team have a little bit of work that I need to do as well and then spit it out I'm like half asleep still and then and Twilight then, Eclipse. No, and then I'm gonna go to dinner with my friends. And oh, then, I thought you already said them. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm kind of out of it today. It's Friday. And um, then you'll come hang out with me and Fed. Yeah, he's having his friend come over, so I'll probably gonna hang out with them for a little bit. And my then, brother, best friend, Fettuccini. Excuse me. Um, <laughs> we're probably just gonna hang out, and then, yeah, that's that's it for the weekly vlog. So, I filmed an entire get ready with me on TikTok while I got ready, but we are headed to dinner. Well, Eli's gonna drop me off as him and him, one of his friends are going to dinner, but I'm wearing this set from Sheen, I think. It is definitely see-through, but I'm wearing a vest over it so it, you can't like see the bra underneath. Um, and you probably can like definitely see through a little bit, but it's gonna be dark out. And I honestly didn't leave a lot of sets out or anything for me to wear outside of like the gym because I wasn't thinking I was going to be going anywhere really because um, all well, that's pretty much packed so we're going to head to dinner and I can't wait to get some sushi and I'll probably try to vlog a little bit of dinner for y'all excited about that was eating good. What, is that? what is that one? and what'd you get Abby? I got rainbow rolls Ooh. are you ready? open it you get the box? yes I got the box <gasps> Oh my god. Okay, there's taro, funnel cake, churro, and Oreo. Yeah, thank you. 